Hey, I want to tell you a little bit about Redmond SDK. Redmond SDK starts off as a V plugin. This V plugin gives you access to React server components, to server-side rendering, as well as a Cloudflare local development environment that gives you access to a database, to storage, and to queues, and a whole bunch more other things, but it gives you access to the basic primitives that you need to build a website. These primitives match production, and it's one package install with no setup. On top of this V plugin, we've built something that follows the request response model. So when you execute a request to the server, it returns a response. That is handled through worker.tsx. A worker is a Cloudflare concept that serves HTTP requests. So here you define your application, and you can define some middleware, and then you can define some root handlers. So here we have the home root, which renders out a JSX element. In addition to rendering out JSX elements, you can also render out request response objects. So you can co-locate your API routes and your JSX elements in the same space. Um, if they change together frequently, you can update them together in the same space. I'm going to dig into this page here. This is the reaction page. It's a server component. So that means that it is rendered as something called an RSC payload, which is then converted to HTML and streamed to the browser. It's then picked up by client React's client-side hydration, which enables interactivity. You only need interactivity when you're dealing with, sorry, you only need client-side components when you're dealing with interactivity. So over here, you can see that we get some reactions. We map over them and randomly place them on the screen. And how you actually set the state for these reactions is through the Synology picker. This is a client component that executes a React server function. So there are two ways to do it. The first is to click, which adds a reaction, sets the state of the reaction on a server. So I click on this, it adds the heart reaction to the server. And you can also hit a key, one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. We wanted to make sure that you have complete control over every single byte that's sent over the wire. So if we open this up, you can see that there is some HTML, some CSS, some JavaScript that's included in the request and the responses. With regular SDK, you control exactly what goes over the wire. So over here, you can see that we're rendering that document. So what that means is if this route is matched, it'll place this page into this document. This document includes the client site hydration. So if I comment out these two here, and I refresh this page, you'll see that we only get CSS and HTML. There's no interactivity anymore. This is super handy. Say, for instance, you're building a blog or a marketing page, and you don't want to include interactivity or any kind of JavaScript, you can just send HTML, and you can do it within the same app. So if you were to create another render block, include some routes in there, say, for instance, for your dashboard or your app site, you could do that, and another one for blog. You have full control. Not only do you get client-side interactivity, I just re enabled that, you can also upgrade this client-side interactivity to be real-time using Cloudflare's durable objects. So I'm going to open up the client.tsx file. That's the one that's imported here in the document, src client.tsx. Oh, where is that now? Is that and I'm going to upgrade this to be real time. So I've got a little snippet here that I saved in here. Just go to that file and then replace that. So now instead of just initializing the client, we're initializing the real time client. What this means is that when you perform a server action, React takes the payload and sends it down to the client, and that client then updates its state. If me and someone else are on the same page, so I'm going to reload this. Oops. And I'm going to duplicate this page here. Now we're on the same page and we have the same key, so in this case, it's forward slash. If I perform a server action, so in other words, on the emoji picker, I'm performing this add reaction server action. We then pick up that you're doing that, you change state somehow. We regenerate the payload and we send it out to all the clients that are connected on the same key. So now the two of us are essentially receiving the same RSC payload and updating our view. So we've added this ability to create do real time just using the mechanism of React and durable objects. So these durable objects can scale infinitely. You can have as many of them as you wish, and it won't affect your performance. Another thing that I want to show off is the ability to release to production. So we use PNPM release, which will upload my website to Cloudflare. It will create any database assets, any storage assets that I require, and it'll be live within a minute. If I wanted to ship this to staging, I would just append the environmental variable Cloudflare underscore env equals staging, and then I've get a new environment and I have this exact website on a different domain. That's really, this is Redwood SDK in a nutshell. What we have given you is a server-side React frameworks where we try to reduce the magic. We try to remove abstractions and focus on the fundamental technologies that you're building upon. So in other words, you're building for the browser or you're building for the network. And we try to make it so that you can trace the request and the response throughout the application and make you feel like you have complete control. We do not like abstractions, they do not like magic. So there are no types generated here. Everything's just standard TypeScript, standard React, and standard network requests. I think that we've built something that could be big. Actually, I'm pretty sure it will be big. We just need more people to try it. Thank you.
And I apologize for the noise in the background. If there is some, my daughter's, my wife is sick and my daughter is watching stories here in the office. 